sure that... Guam Election Commission Executive Director Maria Pangalinen confirms the checks for precinct officials have been printed and are being distributed until 6 p.m. today, nearly a month after the primary election occurred. If there are still people that haven't picked up checks, we're open tomorrow from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. We will start calling everyone to come and pick up their checks. Pangolinen says $60,000 was released from the reserve funds and an extra $15,000 yesterday to pay all precinct officials $170 each. However, that only solves part of GEC's problem. We still have other vendors that still need to be paid for the primary election. And so, you know, we're working and we've gotten the cooperation of both BBMR and Department of Administration. We know it's tight, so we know we know that the cash is tight. She also points out in past budgets, $1.2 million is required to run the election commission. However, GEC only received over 800000 for fiscal year 2012 and even less for fiscal year 2013, which starts on Monday. Um, last year we received 800, 800000 800 plus thousand, and this year for fiscal year 2000, 2013 it's 700000 And on top of that, we have immediate, we have immediate needs for the fiscal year. Pangolinen says while they are already well into the general election preparations, they will have to work out their cash shortage with BBMR and DOA. In the meantime, final contribution and expenditure reports of candidates have been released. The reports were due 10 days after the primary, and Pangolinen mentions all but one turned in everything on time. As of today, um, there's only one candidate that hasn't turned in his, um, his report, his final report, and it could be that he turned it into the Federal Election Commission and he hasn't given us a copy. Who's that candidate? Um, our congress independent congressional candidate, Mr. Jonathan Diaz. Pangolinen adds Diaz's name was already brought brought up at a previous GEC board meeting and his name may be forwarded to the Attorney General's office. She also explains in the contribution and expenditures report, some candidates have a zero amount recorded because personal contributions don't need to be logged. Meanwhile, ballot printing continues. We already have our um, supply for in-office voting and for the Uokava voters and all off-island absentee voters. And so those um, continue to go out. Volunteer voter registration is ongoing until October 16th. District registration then occurs from the 17th to the 26th. For more information, go to gec.guam.gov. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.